From regulating immune responses to controlling inflammation, the benefits of vitamin D in COVID-19 patients are strengthening. A study out of Northwestern University in Illinois looked at countries with high COVID mortality rates like Italy, Spain, and the UK. It found on average patients had lower levels of vitamin D in these countries when compared to patients in other areas of the world that were less affected. Another study out of the UK backed up this claim as it found Finland, Norway, Denmark, and Sweden had higher levels of vitamin D and lower rates of COVID-19. Vitamin D um, has been shown to have different roles. Specifically, it has an immunomodulatory role that in one way helps our immune system to fight infections, but at the same time, it also has an anti-inflammatory role. So that means that actually regulates the immune response so we don't have uh, a state of acute inflammation. And acute inflammation has been a common theme in severe COVID-19 cases. At this point, researchers know there is a connection between low vitamin D levels and a poor outcome in fighting this virus. The next step is now testing increased doses of vitamin D in COVID-19 patients, and the University of Alberta is working towards this. In Alberta, we are going to measure vitamin D levels in all patients who have infection with COVID-19. And in those patients who have low vitamin D level in blood, we are going to give them higher dose and we are uh, aiming to normalize the vitamin D level in a short period of time, between one to two weeks. We will be evaluating if this has a positive uh, impact in their clinical outcomes. Adding vitamin D to your daily supplements is something doctors and nutritionists have been recommending long before the COVID-19 connection. I think all Canadians should be taking a vitamin D supplement. The current recommendation is to take from 600 to 800 international units every day. I think in a situation like this one during the pandemic, it's actually a good idea to increase the dose to 1,000 to 2,000 international units a day, no more than that. If this Canadian clinical study goes to plan, Dr. Montano Loza hopes to have preliminary results by the fall.